Hi Aquarius, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your reading for September 10th through the 16th. This is for Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Keep in mind that this reading may not be for you. Don't try to make it fit your situation. If it fits easily, then it's for you. If it doesn't fit easily, it's not, okay? Some pieces might resonate, some may not. This is the vice versa tarot deck. There's stuff on both sides, just so you know. So I, before I started your reading, I sat here, you know, like I've been doing. And I cut this deck. I cut this deck for you to see what came up. And this is what's on top, okay? This is where I cut it, okay? Now this is the Five of Swords. And it looks to me, it really looks to me like somebody is watching you walk away and they're letting you go and you're letting them go it's like you know whether it's a job or, or whatever it is somebody is watching you walk away and you're walking away for your highest good because you don't need to be involved with somebody who doesn't listen somebody that doesn't see your worth I would rather face it alone than deal with the hurt that you have caused me You're turning your back on this person, whether it whether it's relationship or work or whatever it is, you're turning your back. Goodbye. Keep it. See ya. So sad to be ya. Oh my gosh, there's been a battle, hasn't there? It has. It's been a freaking battle. Yeah, you've been up against a bully or two. Constant fight. And it's like there's other people cheering it on. It's like there's instigators probably watching this fight. You know, they're probably like, yeah. So you, this could be work-related or this could be relationship-related, but you've got some people that are not in your corner. Okay, keep that in mind. So you're, you're definitely up against almost, it feels like it's almost a crowd. Yeah, it's one person in particular, but it feels like that other person has... the word for it manipulated the situation they've manipulated the other people you know into believing that they're the best or whatever you know that it's all you that it's all you that you're not good enough you know what I mean that they're the winner they're already the winner you know they've they've already done their they've done the dirty work they have um, Looks like you've been enlightened. You have. I'm getting the chills. Your loyalty will be rewarded. rewarded. Dogs are loyal and I just happen to look at those dogs. It's like, I would, like I said at the beginning, I would rather be alone. I'd rather remove myself from this situation then fight about it anyway. I don't want to fight about it. Your intuition is leading the way. I think that you're very intuitive at this time. Okay. There's definitely more th to this than meets the eye. And you know that. You know that. Okay. Um, somebody is, is keeping some secrets. And you know that. You know that. You're not getting the whole story. That's for truth. 
Um, and it looks, it looks to me like you gained a lot of wisdom through this experience, what it, whatever it is. There's a lot of wisdom here. And you will be rewarded for your loyalty. And this, this is like a golden egg. So, uh, you know, whatever is happening, it's happening for a reason because it's going to bring you something better. Okay? You're, you're becoming more conscious as well. I mean, conscious is big here. I think that you are being more, becoming more conscious of, of what you deserve and where you're going and what your future needs to look like. And it looks like your light is illuminating. You know, it's illuminating the path. Whatever that means. Oh my God. I just happened to look down. You are, you're into it. Like I said, your intuition is speaking to you. It's your, your, it's like your vibration is, is raising as well because I see this consciousness. You're becoming more spiritually awake. Okay, this is an awakening as well. This is a Jesus consciousness. It is. You've gained a lot of wisdom through whatever this fight was that you're walking away from. You are. You're becoming more grounded. You're becoming more stable and secure with who you are. That's what's happening here. Because you know what is right you know what is going on deep down please if you have any doubts in your mind about this situation whatever it is if you're doubting your intuition don't because you are absolutely seeing the situation clearly whatever it is okay you are your your intuition is spot on at this time um i feel you could be dealing with a taurus virgo capricorn we have virgo here as well i'm just telling you who we're dealing with but i feel like you're facing opposition quite well. You're protected. I feel like you are protected, believe it or not. You're being protected at this time. I feel as though you are very disciplined at this time. It's like, I don't think anybody can break you. This is very grounded. This is, if you think about a bull, the bull is strong and she's a bull. Okay, the bull is strong 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 so this is i mean it is so you guys have gained some strength through this battle that you've been in you have you've gained a lot of strength and a lot of consciousness so anyway this is a week of perhaps taking your light to a new place Look at you. Ooh, beautiful. Whole, I knew you were being protected. I said you were being protected for this card, and this is protection. The star card is protection. You are being protected. Look at this shit. I'm getting the chills bigger and bigger and bigger. Oh, my God. They're so big, the chills. This is crazy. Oh, my goodness. I just want to make sure that this is good. This is beautiful. It really is. The suffering that you've been through, this game that you have been playing with people or another person is about to end. Okay, it's about to end because it's like the universe is protecting you. Believe it or not, the universe is protecting you because you are basically, I think it's kind of like a light being, a light worker of some sort. You are... You are a beautiful soul. That's what I see. I see, I see that there's a lot of inner beauty. That allows you to keep giving 
even when you're hurting, you know, there's quotes, all kinds of quotes about that, about she smiles even when she's hurting, whatever. You guys have gained a lot of strength through some sort of battle, okay? Some sort of battle that you have had to really fight hard to, to get out of. And it feels like at this point, you've come to the conclusion, like I said, you're better off alone with this Nine of Pentacles. It's like, you know what? I am rich. I am rich with experience. I am rich with kindness. I am rich with love. I am rich with myself. I do not need to put up with this situation. So I feel as though this is a week of definitely, 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 definitely. This is stepping out of your shell and this is stepping out of your shell as well. You see, this is the Ten of Swords. This is rock bottom. He's at the bottom of the ocean. Just, you know, he's still in there. Here. He has stepped out of his shell. He stepped out of his shell. My soul. Is still there. My soul is still alive. My soul is all that matters. And this is you looking at what happened, looking at the experience and gaining that wisdom from what, the battle. They tried to kill me. They tried to hurt me. But they didn't prevail. I'm still here. And I'm stronger than ever. And this is like an eclipse, right? I mean, that's what this is. It's an eclipse. Something is, is being removed from your life. Because all it did was hurt you. It's the Ten of Swords. You can only go up from here. This is a... It's, it's the end of something that really, 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 really hurt you. Whatever this ending is, whatever this completion is that had that you had to go through, has real is bringing you a blessing. It's bringing you a gift. Everything happens for a reason. There are hidden forces that you may not recognize. Okay, there's stuff going on behind the scenes that are working in your favor. Okay, you are being protected. You were being protected. Because you are such a kind, compassionate healer. I think you're a healer of some sort, Aquarius. Now this is, this is the moon. When I first saw it, I thought it was the star. Something is being stripped. An old way of thinking, the old you, is being stripped away. Because it looks as though you are recognizing your worth. 
more than ever. Self-worth, self, these are the biggest two cards of self-worth, self, self-respect. Self I'm better off on my own than engaging in this conflict, this fight. Right now, right here, it feels as though you may have held on to this situation for too long. It was probably a difficult decision to take that blindfold off and accept that this person was never going to change. You probably denied it for cool, maybe two years, maybe two months. But it feels as though at this time, your inner goddess has decided that you are worth more than this battle. I think you have gained a lot of strength from gentle compassion. You are being your own advocate at this time. You are looking very attractive at this time. The universe has your back. And I feel as though this is a time of, of probably being on your own. You're probably working on your independence. You're working on your health. You are enjoying life. It feels as though you are accepting accepting the reality because this is this is this will be the reversal I believe yeah you are accepting the reality that something needed to end that it wasn't it didn't it, it, you're worth more than that. You're accepting the reality that you're worth more than this. There's a birth of something new. And this has been coming from a, for a long time. And you've seen it coming. You have seen it coming. I think one door is closing. A door is closing. You are stepping outside of your shell. And you're not the same person that you were. And the denial that you have been holding on to is being let go. It's like you were, and that's what this is. If you see what's mirroring, the denial, the inability to see the truth is no more. You stabbed me. You tried to kill me. You tried to hurt me. I don't need to be here. I feel like this is a time where you guys are looking back at your life experiences and you're looking at the lessons that you've learned and you're using them to your advantage. You're using these lessons in a positive way, though. I don't think it's in a negative way at all. I feel like you guys are, they've, they've brought you growth. And I think that you guys are getting creative in a way that is allowing you to be even stronger than ever before. I'm comfortable with who I am. I know who I am. I know what I'm worth. I know that I'm a healer. I know that I am love. I know that I am awake. And I know that I am better. Than this conflict that you are bringing into my life.
So I feel like you guys are focusing on you, you're focusing on your money, you're focusing on your job, you're focusing on everything but love this week. You're working on getting yourself back to where you need to be. And you're there. I mean, I do feel like you're there. I mean, I don't think you have to work on it anymore. I think that you guys are at goddess level. God or goddess level. Man or woman. Okay? I feel like you are at a point of the ultimate self-respect and self-love. Okay? Is a high, uh, highly intuitive this week as well. Your intuition is speaking volumes, volumes, okay? Intuition, 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 okay? I see happy independence here. I'm happy. I'm good. I don't need you. I don't need you. I will sit and wait for the perfect opportunity to present itself to me because I know what I am worth. And this ain't it. You are. There's a lot of accepting reality here. I accept reality. I accept the reality that I know what I'm worth. I know what I'm worth. You guys are walking away from a situation. That's what this is about. You're walking away from a situation, a conflict. This is the sun card, but it's reversed because you've been in a you've been in an unhappy situation. You've been in a sad situation. And now it's time for you to use your sword. It's time for you to be logical. And show the world how strong you are. And wise. You've gained a lot of wisdom. A lot of wisdom. Now it's time to, to get some new armor. <laughs> Okay, it's time to get some new armor. So, I feel like it's a renewal. It's time to get some new clothes. <laughs> you know, and maybe in this shedding, I mean, somebody could be losing weight. Just saying, changing, changing the skin that you're in. That's also a message here. You know, you could be changing your look, your 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 health, working on your health, working on your abundance. That's what this is. A, this isn't a week. I don't feel like this is a week of, of love coming in. I feel like this is a week of me. That's for you guys. It's a week of me. I'm working on me. Me, 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 me. And that's what you need to do. The ultimate self-love is when you work on you. So I feel like you've been in an unhappy situation and you're about to take back control of your life. You are seeing situations clearly, so don't doubt yourself, okay? You are absolutely seeing situations clearly. You know exactly what's going on. There is nobody that, if they try to tell you different, just walk away, okay? Because you're, there's, there's no reason for you to doubt yourself, put it that way, okay? None. None. 
You could be dealing with the Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We also have the Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have Pisces. We have Taurus, Libra, um, Virgo. Um, but this is closing yourself off to work on yourself. And maybe that's what you need to do. Maybe this is a little bit of advice. Take the time to let yourself heal. Take the time to work on you. Maybe you need to turn your back on situations so that you can emotionally recharge. You may be feeling a little overly emotional as you have to walk away from something that hurt you. But take all the time you need to heal. So I feel Aquarius like this is a week of working on you. Me, 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 me. You're vibrating very highly. People are jealous. People are jealous. So keep that in mind. Um, people are trying to bring you down. It's all happening for a reason. It's all happening for a reason. You are gaining something from it. Trust me, you are. And I see you handling the situation compassionately. I do. Don't let confusion cloud your reality. Because there's nothing to be confused about because you already know the answers. You already know what's going on. For a lot of you, this is work related. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I think you have all the signs here. Um, but I think this is a week of abundance. It's a, it's a week of working on yourself. Enjoying the experiences. Enjoy, accepting the lessons. And knowing that you are love. You are love. So yeah, that's what I see. I see that you guys are coming out of your shell. That's what this is. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. And that's what I said. You're about ready to step outside of your shell. For those of you that are single... Once you, once you climb off that mountain and you put yourself out there and open your heart, it will come in. That's what I mean. Come out of your shell. You guys, and this is the protection. That's where the protection came in. You guys have been protecting yourself from love because of this. That's for the love situation. I also see when, I see, when I see this, open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all to yourself. Self-love. Because this is self-love and this is self-love too. The highest energy of all is self-love. That is the reality of it. For you. When you become consciously aware that when you put yourself first, when you become consciously aware that putting yourself first is the, is the right thing to do, everything else will fall right into place. That's the damn truth, okay? This is becoming consciously aware that it is safe for you, you to love yourself because you're, that's yourself. This is you. This is you and this is you. So when you love yourself, there will be the birth of something new.
And right now, this is a week on you loving you, making yourself healthy, working on your attractiveness, working on your inner being, working on self, and walking away from something that is hurting you. Is there new love? I don't see it. Because this is a week of healing. Not going to pretend that that, that, this, that new love is coming in, okay? I'm not. Because you don't want anybody to come flying in anyway. You know what you're worth, okay? It's not like you're stupid and you want just somebody fly by the seat of their pants come flying in. I mean, that ain't the case here at all. You have a lot of wisdom. You have a lot of uh, strength. You have a lot of um, confidence in yourself. You're not just going to take anybody. That's what I see. It's like there's a lot of uh, wisdom here. Do I see new love coming in? No, I'm not just going to take anybody. If you ain't worth my time, then keep walking. Anyway, that's what I see. So I feel like this is a week of you becoming consciously aware of your worth even more, working on you. I mean, that's what this is. Enjoying life eventually coming out of your shell. That's what this is. So, I mean, I'm not, I'm not going to make it be something it's not. This is what I have, Aquarius. 